Three of four women accused in a lover's revenge plot were in court today. Court documents show that at the end of July, the women conspired to learn, lure Danessa Davis to a Stockbridge motel where he was tied up. A criminal complaint against Therese Zyman says she cut off Davis's underwear and glued his genitals to his stomach. A few days after the women were arrested, Davis was charged last week with a child abuse, a misdemeanor, theft, and harassment. Fox 11's Becky DeVries was in court today and brings us up to date on the cases from the Fox 11 News and Content Center. Becky? Well, Michelle, this case has been getting a lot of attention around the country, and today there were national media crews in court, though the women involved did not give interviews. Zeman and two other women were in court today. She is facing charges of sexual assault, misdemeanor battery, and false imprisonment. The two other women who were in court are facing a charge of false imprisonment. Zeman appeared without an attorney, as did Wendy Seawall. Both women are in the process of getting attorneys and will be back in court two weeks from today. Michelle Billavo is also charged in the case. She'll be back in court for preliminary well, hearing next defense, month. Defense, None of the women stopped to talk with reporters defense. after court. Billavo's attorney, however, did answer a few questions, uh, including sure one about his client's state of mind. She's very upset about the whole the charges, as you might well expect. Um, I don't think she got up that morning thinking that we're going to go do anything like this. Um, and uh, I think it's some, one of those things that she knew someone and things apparently got out of hand. Um, and um, she's embarrassed by the whole thing. This is not what she planned to do with her life at her age. And her position. The prosecutor in the case did not comment after court today. The alleged victim's wife, Tracy Hood Davis, is also facing a charge of false imprisonment, and she is scheduled to be in court next week.